Oh man, I got in the game 2005. God, God, damn, God damn. Probably had Pampers on my boy. Hold on, they're saying they're saying L audio. The audio's oh. audio's fucked up. Damn, that was a good part too. I know. <laughs> See if we check, get check, audio. check. I Mike get up. Hey, they all telling me, hey, don't, who cares? No fucks, no shits. <laughs> <laughs> the Trey motherfucking song. <laughs> <laughs> the only word you cannot say is the F word that rhymes with uh maggot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Would never. Never. Yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, they're saying fix it. It's, the, it's only in one year they're saying. Whoa, whoa, WW. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can one of you guys put up on the phone and see if it's they good? They say it's better. It's better. better? Fixed? Fixed. Fire. I think it's good. I think so. We in the motherfucking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the comments is wild off rip. Yup. Yeah, that's how it is, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. So, uh, do you know about, like, what I do on Twitch and stuff? I do, actually. Really? Yeah. How? How'd you find out about me? Uh, Via, like, way of just your sh shit went viral so many times. And, uh, you know, when things happen like that, that are culture shifting, I tend to do a little investigating on my team, make sure that I know what's going on. You're making a lot of money, touching a lot of lives. Uh, Hell yeah, to I'm to touching myself. A lot. Hey, <laughs> Trey Songz will start doing this shit soon once I figure it out. Nah, that's not what they said. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, fuck me. No, no, no. Yo! <laughs> no, we hey, can't do that. I don't know what that. the fuck they're talking we can't about. Do that hey, here. guys, let's, we don't play that shit, bro. You know, we, don't, we just don't play that shit around here. <laughs> You know, um, no, nah, it's lit though. Congratulations, though. Appreciate like that, what bro. you're doing, like it's, it's like I said, culture shifting, and it's like this is a uh, is one representation, uh, and and this as well of just how the world is changing. For sure, no, nah, it's man. crazy. Man. Like now, it's all, and you know, when you started in 2005, it was probably so hard to fucking come up. Bro. 2005, like, man, like just think, I used to sell CDs out of my trunk. Like I couldn't imagine doing. I used the bomb. Look. Yeah. <laughs> No, for sure. It's just interesting. No, for sure. But it's amazing to see how you can go direct to consumer now. You know, you had to find your fans. I had to go on promo tours and perform at. I used to perform in the middle of the mall, man, and like Sick. you know, sign actual autographs. Like, wow. I come from an era like before they used to ask for photographs. That's crazy. like I used to. They, they ask for autographs. Right. First. Yeah, the sign. That's yeah. crazy. But I lasted through the time, baby. I still look good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait. How old are you? Don't don't ask those type of questions. Man. Google that. It's Google Mrs. that. You're an internet girl. guru, man. Google me. I'm a guess. Like you're, you, see, you look like you're like 24, like uh, 23. I'm a whole kilo. You know what a kilo is? What's that? Yeah. See, yeah, we come from a different time, different era. What is that, Mr. Songs? <laughs> a kilo is 36 of them. Guys. No way. Yeah. Man. You're not that old. I am. No way. Yeah. You look like you're in your 20s. Come on, man. Do you get that a lot though? I appreciate it. Yeah, I do actually. If I was a girl, bro. I drink a lot of water. I hope it's a good thing you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess not. <laughs> we can hug though. We can hug. Okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Wait, I think they're saying Zia's mic is a little bit too quiet. If we get that up a little bit, please. Thanks. Um, that's crazy. Man. Audio, audio. The grind back then. Testing, testing, testing. No, no, no. Way crazy. No, it was a whole different. Was, so now, now you have so much easier. Like TikTok, you have fucking one thing go viral on the internet, trending Twitter. Yeah. It's like everything. It's crazy. There's a lot of ways you could do a lot of things now today. And I'm a witness to like, you know, when Soldier Boy said he did this and that first, I was actually there seeing him do it first. So Yeah, he really did. You know what I mean? A lot he of don't be capping. Well, a lot of things he did first and, uh, it's a lot of a lot of representation of what he started that's now here today. And it's just amazing to see for me just to still be here, still be relevant, still be a part of the culture. Uh, and this here with a lot of people fighting that I don't know who the hell they are <laughs> is exciting. You know what I mean? Like no, to see that people that saying. people that, uh, you know, you you as a as a person that's not in this world may not know can fill out the same stadium that. Floyd Mayweather was fighting in. It's like, fucking crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's what did you think about that fight, by the way? I I, didn't, I thought it was boring. What did you I think? mean, it, it, it was what it was. It did what it needed. They to got that bread, though. They got their money. Yeah. Uh, it was entertaining. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought it was crazy to just see them in the ring together. Like, it was just mind-blowing the whole time I'm watching it. Like, right. this is really happening. Right. It was like, right. Like, Jake, like, like Logan said, like, it's a simulation. Like, it felt like, you feel Oh, me? for real. A YouTuber boxing okay, fucking champion like Boxing that. the, the goat. Goat. The goat. Like, you don't see that. You know what I mean? You wouldn't normally see that. Right. Just changing up the game, like you're saying. And it's also showing how much money is in, in this. You know what I mean? It's so it's, much it's, bread, bro. it's wealth in here that's generational that can change lives forever. Right. You know what I mean? That one fight, being that Logan has so many avenues uh, that he's already in, that changed the whole spectrum of where he can go. You know what I mean? And furthermore, Floyd's smart enough. He's probably getting 10% of everything he's doing for the rest of his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You think you would ever get in the ring? 
Get in the ring? Nah, I'm cool. I'm a lover, not a fighter, baby. Oh, yeah. Ah, 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 <laughs> you got to see you in the ring, about you, man. man. You don't know about me, man. I be chilling, man. How about we fight, me and you? You don't want to fight me, bro. Why? You want to stay pretty, man. <laughs> we can both be pretty. God, and I didn't know fight. Why? Because I'll leave you. You think you'd beat me? I know that. You know that. How yeah. much you want to put on it? What? You ask live by live. You ask whoever. <laughs> what if we just fought? That ain't worth it. I don't fight. I don't fight fair, though. You know. That ain't. You ain't gotta fight fair. I got hands for real. Really? Yeah. Aye. Right. But I'm a lover, not a fighter. As I said, we got <laughs> off topic, ladies and gentlemen. How are you at home today? I hope everybody's enjoying themselves. What y'all been talking about, man? Chilling, bro. Let's talk about the fight. Who do you got in the, the main the thing? The main fight? Yeah. I like Austin, man, just because oh. I actually know him. Yeah, okay. Cool. You never met Bryce? No, I never met him. Uh, Austin and I, we've known each other for a while. We play basketball. We kick it at parties. Oh, very nice. Uh, and I think he's like, I don't, I don't know Bryce's situation, but I know Austin's taking it very seriously. Very seriously. Yeah. I see it, too. Like, I had Bryce at first, but now I'm, like, leaning towards Austin. I, I, I put money on Austin. I think, I think the thing is, like, it, it becomes so much of a entertainment aspect that people lose sight of actually having to train and right. like, of course because you out there in front of the world like things change you get in that, that ring and the world's watching not only live stream but you got people right there in front of you watch your legs get a little weak yeah get a little right high. the technique leave when yeah you get a tired, you know? <laughs> but, but that's why that's why practice is what practice is because it brings about repetition when, when you practice something you could do it no matter what happens right. you know what i mean so whether you're a fighter or not if you really sit gearing yourself up for the situation, then you're you gonna have you gonna have muscle. Remember, that's what it's about. Yeah. The mentality and stuff yeah, for, sure. for sure. Let's uh let's get a drip check real quick. Let's see whatever. First of all, I'm obviously dressed. I'm not even faster. dripping, bro. <laughs> I I woke I woke I like up the late. Babe. I woke up late, like oh shit, and and then I had to rush out because I had to be here with you guys. And then they COVID test me. It was, it was yeah. Like, oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had to shove some. I'm used to getting shit shoved so this, on my nose, but this is just a little babe in a little Nike situation. Sorry, I was trapping hat. <laughs> Wait, did you make that? No, my friend actually makes this hat. Shout out to Sorry I Was Trapping, man. Can I get one of those? Yeah. I like that, actually. Like sorry it? I Was Trapping. I'll make sure you get one. You really? have never trapped day in your life. I have. Yeah, you trap all the time. <laughs> all the time. The, so trapping, you know what I mean, It the, the the original meaning of such is, you know, just like hustling, you know, selling drugs, doing whatever you had to do to get by. That's what it started as. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it has taken on its own meaning, just like hustling has. Trapping is whatever you doing in your situation to take care of your family, to take care of your own. So yeah, when you right, say right. sorry, I was trapping, it's like I was busy doing what I had to do. Okay, so I could say that. Yeah, you could definitely say that. Sorry, guys, I was trapping earlier. I had to, I had to go do some <laughs> shit. <laughs> no bullshit. Does that work? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. I like that. No drip check, though. Just bathe in a little Nike situation. Yeah, I like your tattoos. You know I appreciate They're it. They're really bro. nice. What do you got? This, this is my son right here. Oh, nice. This What's his Noah's name? Dad. His name's Noah. That's what's up. Shout out to Noah. Uh, it says April's boy. I got this when I was like 17. It was me sitting on top of the world. I had a vision. I like that. This is before. So talk yeah. to me about that song. What got you into music? Like, Oh, man. What got me into music? I always loved music. I would know every song that was on, and my friends would tell me, like, yo, you should take this thing serious. But being from where I'm from, like, the last person to have come out of where I'm from, like, Moses Malone and Blair Underwood, like, an uh, actor. Right. Uh, Moses Malone played, he's like a historic NBA player. We went to the same high school, but that was like 100 years before I was graduating from high school. So yeah, of course. To see anybody do anything like what I've done hadn't happened at all. So it was far out of my, my spectrum until I started really taking it serious. And um, I found my producer. His name was Troy Taylor. I slept on his couch. That's uh, crazy. While my friends would go to summer camp and they would go like hang out with their friends, I'd be sleeping on my producer's couch hoping that I got a record deal, learning how to make songs. When they went on Christmas vacation, I would go to his house. Uh, his basement would flood. Fucking food time would get wet. I would have to. We would have to bucket out the water. That's uh, right. <laughs> See, people don't be knowing yeah. the backstory. I had to do you like me? had to do yeah. like seventy right. songs. You had to actually do a demo. You had to perform right. for record executives. You had to do showcases. Like wow. Like it's not just oh he's. This was bef when the record labels dictated what was what. 
Right. Nowadays, culture dictates what's what and the record label follows. So it, it's just a, a blessing to be here all this time and just see the game evolve and change. I admire your come up. My Seriously. Man, I appreciate it. And yeah. I admire yours as well. Don't, appreciate that. Don't think just because you come up in a different time and you're doing a different thing that what you're doing is not as important or you haven't worked as hard because anything you're doing to take care of yourself, take care of your family, you committed to, it, it's very much meaningful. So 100%. Y'all as well out there, everybody that's looking, you know, you got dreams, aspirations, whatever they may be, keep all your heart shit. into it and go after it. Don't let nobody tell you no different. I like that. And I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but get a, get a round of applause. Actually, I think I can sing better than you. At least I feel like we should have a sing-off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, Trey. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Much love. Nice meeting you. All right, wait till he leaves, guys. We're about to get sus in here. Hold on. Please, get out, get out, Trey. Get out already. Get out, bro. Nah, we keep going. We keep going. Yeah. Now I get to really do my intro. What's good, motherfuckers? First of all, who in this chat right now would fuck me today? I get to just say whatever the fuck I want to say. Me and James went in rounds last night. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> we definitely did. And you nah, look. <laughs> yeah, look, nah. man. We got a lot of rappers coming through and shit. Nah, for sure, man. It's about to be lit, man. Who nah, that's about to be crazy. Lit. Who's next? Do we know? Yeah, you do look good. Everyone's saying you have the best fit tonight. You look good. Yeah, yeah speaking of that all white, though, don't get it twisted. Yeah. Wait, what's that, what's that Drake bar? <laughs> See me wear white, though. That's all it is. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah, because he in the black, yeah. There's a Drake bar. Uh, oh, man, something some slight, you know, just... I got this shirt from the uh, Express, man. Yeah, did you? James, I'm tripping. Up, bro, this whole media stuff. I know. We're not used to this shit. <laughs> Can't take a knee because I'm wearing all white. That's that's what Drake said. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. What, that's yeah. what he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are your shorts so high up, bro? What do you mean? Right? Hey, the dude got these little Damn. shorts on. Wait, what's wrong with that? <laughs> you might as well wear a draw, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh yeah, man. You know, Paul made thousand dollars on the. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what else? Oh yeah, man. You know, pants like three fifty. You know, it ain't nothing to it to a ball. Yes, yeah, sir. Of course, it's ninety though. Force of ninety. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know. <clears throat> um. Now we got me right. So let me show you guys right now. We got a Supreme shirt, like hundred bucks. As you guys can see, I got these nice little drawstring shorts. <laughs> Ziaz and I went shopping. He took me shopping. It's very nice of him, by the way. We were shopping in Miami. Uh, he took me shopping. It was really, really sick. And really nice of him. How much I spent on you? Drop a few hundred dollars on me. <laughs> <laughs> nice arms. Bro, all right, bro. You ain't test me. So, look, me and Z were talking, bro. We were talking. I want a box, bro. Who do you guys think I should box? Also, who do you think Zia should box? And if you want a box, who the fuck do you guys think Bilu should box? I ain't gonna lie. I'm right, knocking so, somebody out. No, nah, so we is talking about you got, you got, you finna box somebody. We talking about the undercard. And I'm like, shoot, who, who would y'all want to see me box? And I'll, I'll box anybody that makes sense. I think Bradley, Mar okay, who else besides Bradley Martin? Do you guys? I don't Anybody. know. 